Hello everyone, welcome to FAF YouTube. We are here at FAF BMW and Nathan Lawrence is with me. Nathan, we're very excited because we have the opportunity to take a look at the first ever BMW iX. The iX is BMW's first fully electric uh, SAV. Correct. And we have to start off with the electrical facts. That's what people really want to know. But this car has a range, Nathan, of around 475? 475 kilometers, that's correct. Um, yeah. Obviously, this one is going to, or there's going to be a 50, uh, M50 version as well, which will have slightly less because it's going to have a little bit more performance. Uh, but yes, 475 up to um, in the kilometer range. Fantastic. When we look at this car, it definitely has its own distinct look and feel to it, which I think BMW is taking with the electric vehicles, right? Let's start off with the front and this iconic uh, front kidney grille. It's a solid piece here. Solid Why piece. Is that? Uh, well, no more cooling, obviously, for any sort of radiators or anything like that. Everything is going to, we're trying to make everything more aerodynamic now. Yeah. So, obviously, they want to keep it sealed. Um, and then they have also air inlets on either side of the kidney grills, just for better uh, aerodynamics and coefficiency. And I've heard that this is a self-sealing or self-healing grill. And that means if there are any sort of nicks that happen to this, it heats up and seals the surface? That's correct. Yeah, very, very small, minor little stone chips yeah. and bug debris as well, for instance, that may penetrate it slightly. Um, over As it does get heated, it will then uh, kind of melt or blend together as well. Which is nice because you keep that brand new look, right? Especially to the front of the vehicle. Uh, when I look at this, Nathan, I see a really aggressive design here. Uh, what do you feel when you... Very much so. When you look at it? Very much so. The with With... The new generation of iCars, I find they're really kind of aiming at uh, younger, but also trying to go after a lot of different demographic than they wouldn't normally have. Nice. Let's do a walk around. What are your some, some of the features that stand out for you on this car? Uh, one of the biggest things, obviously, is the, the, the styling of the laser lights and how thin and slender they have gotten and how aggressive they have made them look. Um, I also f really like the little treatment with the roundel now with uh, being that it is going to contain our uh, washer fluid as well. So nice oh, little wow. treatment there as well. That is so cool. And then as we walk around to the side of the vehicle, special wheels that help with aerodynamics aerodynamics on the vehicle so these are an optional upgraded 22 inch wheel um, and the styling will affect or help with uh, essentially effectiveness with coefficient and aerodynamics on the highway now we're here at the side of the ix nathan tell us about what bmw has done in terms of the styling of this sav Obviously a very, very low roof line as well for aerodynamics. So all of our batteries are going to be located underneath the floorboard of the vehicle. So obviously you're going to keep the weights, uh, center of gravity low, mm -hmm. uh, as well as with the new design of the iX, we've also got frameless doors as well, which is a nice little added uh, feature. Just kind of make it a little bit more sportier um, as well when you have the doors open and stuff like that. And a nice touch is these sort of flush door handles that just open like that, right? Gives Beautiful. it a nice feel. Totally, totally. A little bit more futuristic. Cool. Let's walk around to the back, Nathan. Again, carrying through these really neat slender. laser lights. And as you said, they are going with a more slender look here and they're not protruding off the vehicle at all. No, they're still going to kind of stay with the three dimensional look that BMW has always are kind of had in the last couple of years as well, mm -hmm. uh, as well as they're going to have that typical BMW L shaped as well. Um, but yes, very slender, very aggressive. Um, and full LED as well. Love it. And over here is the charger. When you talk about going over to electric and incorporating that into your lifestyle, you really want to make sure that everything flows, right? Including the range, including the charging time. How long does it, t does it take to charge a vehicle of this size? Well, with this one here, um, because obviously it's going to be a level three charger that is going to charge it at the fastest capacity, um, we're going to be looking at just a couple of hours, essentially, for, a f for uh, up to about 80% charge. Okay, so level three would be something that you maybe don't have at home? Generally don't have at home. Okay. Level two is going to be more commonly what's installed now at uh, a lot of people's homes and, and places of work as well. Um, but a lot of shopping centers now and dealerships for that matter are offering the level three charging. Oh great and with the level two at your home that's usually like Oh, an overnight charge. Yes, that can that's get correct. You exactly. Full. Exactly. So it does require obviously an electrician to install the level two chargers at your residence or some condominiums for that matter as well. Um, but does give you that obviously updated and faster charge time. So we are now in the cabin of the iX and Nathan, I think there's some really nice, nice features that stand out 
They're not on other BMW cars or any other cars for that matter, but this is a really unique cabin. It is. So very minimalistic as what BMW has gone with, with the I, uh, iX cabin. Um, obviously they've done a lot with the uh, the treatments as well, being a lot of natural finishes on them, mm. such as on the leather, um, it's treated with an olive oil as well. So it's a lot more environmental uh, as well. Um, plus we do use a lot of uh, renewable resources when they are obviously producing the vehicle too. Mm -hmm. um, not just, the updated screens and iDrive system that we're now using. We're using essentially a blended two screen system. Um, the iX and the i4 both utilize the similar set setup, which is gonna be a 4.9 inch screen blended to a 12.3 inch screen. Wow, and that gives you all of your infotainment. It has BMW's latest infotainment system, iDrive 8, That right? is correct, that so is that's correct. that's great. All uh, Siri capabilities as well as Google capabilities too. We have to talk about the what is it called? Panoramic Sorry, sunroof that I we do have. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Look, it's so so uh, interactive, if you will. Uh, it, this is so cool. We have to show people how this works, right? Because it has a function where it can let light in or not. Exactly. So right now it's obviously turned on or turned off, I should say, so that you can actually see through it. Um, it is electrochromatic. So but just yeah. by uh, a touch of a button, you can then actually turn it on so that you have no privacy and sunshade as well. And right now we're in the dealership, so you're not getting the full effect of being outside, but that is, that is so neat. It is, it really yeah. is. And lots of space here. You know, also in this cabin, Nathan, you're given the feel um, that it's very spacious, right? Um, not a lot of blind spots. Even the design of the steering wheel allows for better entry and, exit. and exiting of the vehicle, right? With this design. Definitely, definitely. A very minimalistic kind of uh, appearance and look that they've gone with. Uh, not just obviously with the steering wheel being a two spoke steering wheel, uh, but obviously a flat bottom steering wheel allowing you to exit and enter the vehicle a little bit easier, mm -hmm. uh, but also having not a, con a console that doesn't obviously run the length of the vehicle, having uh, an open area as well does give you that effect of a little bit more cabin space as well. Uh, and not too many things on the dash to obviously obstruct your vision as well. Let's talk about what BMW calls Nathan the life cell of this vehicle. Correct, correct. So with the with all of the BMWs that are uh, generally produced uh, with the life cell, it's going to essentially have your or you sit in a cocoon of carbon fiber. It's carbon fiber reinforced polymer that we use. Uh, and essentially, uh, it's like a cocoon of, of protection around yourself. So very safe, very um, structurally sound vehicle as well. Uh, and you can kind of get an idea of how that is, uh, how that looks by the exposed pieces here in the trunk, as well as in the door jams uh, on the front and rear doors as well. Now, the BMW iX was here at FAF BMW because BMW was doing their electric tour and launching these vehicles. But the great news is uh, these can be ordered. They can. Starting now, right? That's right. That's yeah. right. So the online configure is available on BMW Canada's website. Okay. Uh, and then you can go to any BMW dealership uh, to actually put the order in for your, uh, for your iX. That's very exciting. It is the way of the future. And Nathan, thank you so much for your time today. And thank you for watching at home.